Hi guys, today I share with you another video on fun math. Today let's see some standard results on integration. In previous video we have learned some basic integral results like integral of sin x is negative cos x and integral of cos x is sin x. Today let's see some standard results on integration. First, d by dx of integral of f of x dx is nothing but f of x. Means if we differentiate an integral, you will get the same result. You will get the same function. And if we integrate a constant multiplied with a function, means integral of k f of x, you will get constant into integral of that function. Means f into integral of f of x dx. And integral of addition of two functions, means integral of f of x plus or minus g of x dx is nothing but the sum of integrals of those functions means integral of f of x plus or minus g of x dx is equal to integral of f of x dx plus or minus integral of g of x dx and integral of f of a linear function instead of just x integral of f of ax plus b means f of ax plus b means f of a linear function f of ax plus b dx is nothing but the inverse of coefficient of x means reciprocal of coefficient of x here the coefficient of x is nothing but a here you will get 1 by a into integral of f of ax plus b into d ax plus b if you want you can replace ax plus b by t then you will get 1 by a into integral of f of t dt and you can integrate it normally means integral of f of x dx is equal to capital F of x. Let integral of f of x dx be capital F of x. Then integral of f of ax plus b dx is nothing but 1 by a into capital F of ax plus b. Means instead of capital F of x, you will get capital F of ax plus b. And into 1 by a. And d by dx of e power x f of x. Okay, you may ask why am I showing you differentials in integration but this is a trick of solving some types of integrals means if we have d by dx of e power x f of x you will get e power x f of x plus means f of x into d by dx of e power x which is nothing but e power x means f of x e power x plus e power x into f dash of x means e power x into f of x plus f dash of x okay what is meant by this if we integrate on both sides, you will get that integral of e power x into f of x plus or minus f dash of x dx. Means if there is integral of the form e power x into f function plus derivative of the function dx, then it will be e power x into that function plus c, e power x into f of x plus c. And we know that d by dx of f of x into g of x f of g of x is equal to f dash of g of x plus g dash of x means that if we integrate f dash of g of x if we integrate f dash of g of x into g dash of x you will result in f of g of x okay this formula is used in some cases like if you want to integrate minus sin cos x into minus sin x or sin cos x into sin x then sin minus sin cos x is nothing but derivative it is nothing but the derivative of cos cos x so based on this formula you can directly write the answer as cos of cos x plus c now let's see a small example integral of ax plus b by cx plus d dx okay how can we do this first take a common from the numerator okay you may ask b is not a multiple of a then how can we take a as common okay it is simple you can take a as common from b as you can write b as a into b by a so you can take a common so you will get x plus b by a by cx plus d dx and now multiply and divide by c then you will get 
a by c into integral of c into a x plus b by a which is nothing but c x plus b c by a by c x plus d dx now c x plus b c by a now add and subtract d then you will get c x plus d plus minus d plus b c by a by c x plus d dx it means it is a by c into integral of if we if we expand this if we expand the denominator you will get cx plus d by cx plus d which is nothing but 1 a by c into integral of 1 dx plus a by c into minus d plus bc by a by cx plus d minus d plus bc by a is nothing but a constant so you can take it outside you will get minus d plus bc by a into integral of 1 by cx plus d dx now it is nothing but the integral of 1 by x right 1 by cx plus d as we discussed before integral of f of ax plus b or f of cx plus d is nothing but 1 by c into capital f of cx plus d and 1 by x the integral of 1 by x is nothing but ln of x so you will get a by c x integral of 1 is x minus if we if we multiply this you will get ad minus bc by ad minus bc by c this a and a in this denominator cancels out so you will get ad minus bc by c into 1 by c into ln of cx plus d which is nothing but ax plus ax by c minus ad minus bc by c times c is c square into ln of cx plus d plus c okay guys this is for today's video i hope you enjoy this video if you are not comment down below why you haven't if you have any doubts comment down below along with them in the next video